Praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We've been looking at the book of Nehemiah chapter 5. And amongst the many people we have mentioned, one key person comes out so clearly, uh, and this is Nehemiah. Nehemiah, you know, journeyed together with these people after listening to their cry. He got angry. He did not stop there. He handled the matter all the way, even addressing the officials. We have read up to verse number 11. And once again, we read number 11 and 12. The Bible says, you must restore their fields, vineyards, olive groves, and homes to them this very day. This very day. And repay the interest you charged when you lent the money, grain, new wine, and olive oil. They replied, we will give back everything and demand nothing more from the people. We will do as you say. Then I called the priests and made the nobles and the officials swear to do what they had promised. Praise the Lord. Nehemiah uh, addressed this matter so directly. And we read together that when he presented all this in verse number eight, the officials, the nobles, had nothing to say in their defense. And so Nehemiah pointed out and also gave them the direction where yesterday we said that he told them you must restore their fields, their vineyards, their olive groves, their homes this very day. And after telling them all this, in verse number 12, we see the people responding. And this is what they said. They replied, we will give back everything and demand nothing more from the people. We will give back everything and demand nothing more from the people. I know where we are, especially as Kenyans, this particular scripture resonates to, with us so, so well. And this is our prayer, that the Lord may hear us, may come through for us, and as we point out the areas that we feel that we are not satisfied, our prayer is that God may hear us and that there would be this kind of a response for us. As they responded, they said again, we will do as you say. Then I called the priests and made the nobles and officials swear to do what they had promised. What we are picking from Nehemiah is that this whole matter was not about him. It was about God. Nehemiah was a representative of God, and that's why he was passionate to ensure that this is driven in a way that he could even call these people back to the fear of God. Remember when he was asking them, what is this that you are doing? Can't you walk in the fear of the Lord? Nehemiah did not make it his own matter. He stood as a representative of the kingdom of God. And this is why he gets to a point of calling the priests. Then I called the priests and made them made the nobles and the officials swear that they would keep or they would do what they had promised. Nehemiah did not make it his own thing. He stood in his position all the way. When he got to a point of calling upon the priests, he did exactly that. Friends, as we face different scenarios and circumstances in this life, let us know our position. Know where you belong. Know what you're supposed to do. Do it and always follow God's instructions. And in all this, the Lord will walk with you. He will help you. He is gracious and kind. The Lord bless us and be with us in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom.